What's good, everybody? I know you're here because you're trying to figure out what you need to do with your credit, right? And you're probably trying to find, as you can see from the title, the best credit repair companies that you can hire in 2023. So um, I've owned a credit repair company for almost a decade at this point, and I have insight from myself and, of course, other credit repair business owners. So I've seen the ones that know what they're doing, the ones that are ethical and legal, and I know the ones that don't really do what they're supposed to do, or at least have heard of them from other customers telling me what they don't do or how they got scammed or taken advantage of. So we're going to be going over all of that, as well as how much you should be paying for credit repair, um, some of the things that can cause your process to not go according to plan, and just overall everything that you need to be thinking about to go into the process and make sure that you see success coming out of the process and I'm gonna to try to deliver that as quickly as I can because I know you got other things to do but you're watching this video because you need the information so let's go ahead and dive into how to pick the best credit repair company to hire in 2023 now first off are you just about done dealing with credit I mean like have you been trying to actually go through all of the measures of doing everything that your mom has told you to do your uncle Larry has told you to do uh, you know your friends have told you to do have you tried everything you try to do it yourself maybe you try to go to other companies uh, and maybe you just aren't seeing the success you want to see and you know you've tried everything and you feel like there's really nothing else that you can do maybe you have like a little you know glimpse of hope somehow by hiring a credit repair company but you're really still not even sure about that if that is the case that you're in let me let you know that there is still hope so don't give up hold on to that little glimpse of hope that you actually have in regards to getting to a better place with your credit and also let me give you some warnings make sure that you aren't out there trying to pay off collections and pay off charge-offs because if that was your solution then you're not gonna really see success at all so uh, actually you might send yourself into the reverse and lower your score so you know we're gonna talk about everything that you really do need to focus on in doing because of course ultimately you're trying to get to a better place for a certain reason and we're gonna dive into that now if you like to hear information like this as well as other information in regards to building credit strategies for improving your credit for you know getting a car refinancing your car getting a house and stuff like that make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the thumbs up to like the video and turn the notifications so that you'll be notified of any new videos I drop just like this one now let me also say to you you know if you feel like you've tried everything have you tried to use consumer protection laws and I don't mean from downloading you know those free 609 letters those aren't going to get you where you need to be if you have used metro 2 have you done metro 2 do you know what metro 2 is uh have you heard of it before if not and you have not implemented any of these things into your strategy there are other things as well that can go into your strategies when you're trying to improve your credit but these are some things that i want to let you know that if you have not tried these methods but you've only tried you know the things that everybody tells you to do then maybe there is still hope for you but of course keep listening so that we can see what you really need to know to try to see success and trying to get that improvement with your credit ultimately and possibly with a credit repair company and also just so you know again i have been a credit repair owner so i could be biased with everything that i'm telling you so it's up to you if you choose to listen to me or not again you know you don't have to i'm merely trying to share my experience from what i've personally known from what my colleagues have experienced and seen and what customers that have been to other companies have shared with me okay so what's your current situation have you been trying to work on your credit yourself uh, have you found that you really don't have a lot of time, you know, with going to work, uh, getting off, having to get the kids, having to take them to basketball practice, football, soccer practice, having to go to different events and stuff like that, having to do stuff with your wife, do stuff with your husband, uh, you know, all of the things that go into life can make you really busy and with everything that goes into working on your credit yourself, especially if you don't have any type of training, if you haven't taken any type of courses, uh, you're going off of the free stuff on the internet, a lot of times that can be misleading and it can tell you to do a whole bunch of things that will waste your time and effort for you to only see minimal or barely any results. So is that the situation that you've been in, you know, for the last, you know, few months, few years or something like that? Now also, you know, are you in a situation where you're actually trying to buy a house? And you know that you have a certain house you're trying to get within a certain time frame or maybe you just know you want to get a house within a certain time frame or maybe you need to get a new car 
maybe your current car isn't working properly maybe it's old maybe it's acting up or maybe it's just time for an upgrade if something that you actually want to get versus what the dealership told you you can have are you trying to get a new car are you trying to get a house or you just need to move to a different state or just to a different place that's better and you need to make sure that your credit situation is in line because you're not going to be able to either get anything or you're not going to be able to get what you want to get or live where you want to live when it's time for you to actually make that credit transaction. If any of those sound like your situation, then you definitely need to keep listening to this video. Reason why? Because I know those situations can put a lot of pressure on you and it can be very frustrating when you're trying to see success and you know which directions to take. And you know, me going from being a person that also didn't know anything about credit, wasn't taught about it, growing up in my household. So I had to learn by making mistakes and messing up while I was out there in college and then learning how to overturn those mistakes myself, my trial and error to the person that I have become over the years, getting training from people who have worked at FICO, worked at uh, the credit bureaus and people that have had experience doing credit repair work on other people's credit. I have seen that what most people think without that type of knowledge and education is totally off from what the people who have the experience, the knowledge, and actually getting people the results that they're seeking to see. So I know there can be some big gaps there, so we're gonna try to identify some of those and how you can overcome those in this video. Now listen, a lot of you guys are thinking that you need a 700 plus credit score uh, to get a house, maybe because of the lender that you have went to, or maybe because of the special situation that you're in and what you're trying to do in regards to your credit. You know, you might even be a real estate investor maybe and you're trying to see what you need to do to try to start getting your credit to a better place to start investing in real estate or maybe even you wanna start a business. Now, a 700 plus score is of course a great place to be, but it's not as easily attainable as people think it is because when it comes to getting a perfect credit score like you know 830 or 850 or something like that basically you have to have as perfect a credit profile as possible to get there so most people think if i get enough negative stuff removed i should jump to 800 it's not that simple credit scores are very complicated it's a lot that goes into the algorithm it's the algorithm is thicker than that Bible your grandma had in her house, you know, that big old, you know, Bible she had. It's way bigger than that. So it's not just as simple as remove something negative, I get an 800 score. It's a lot more complexity that goes into it. I'm not saying that you can't get to a 700 because for a lot of people it actually is possible. But, you know, in some instances, you can get the score as high as possible. And even though you might not be at a 700, you can still qualify for what it is that you're trying to get by going to different lenders or considering different funding options. So just wanted to let you know that if you're having that 700 score thought in your head and thinking that that's what you have to get to, I just want you to know that even if you don't get to 700, you can still possibly achieve what it is you're trying to achieve or get what you're trying to get. Now, just for example's sake, I have a customer, uh, Mrs. Brown, who had graduated from the program. She was also having issues with her credit when she came to me and she got about 3,000, a little over 3,000 in collection accounts removed from her credit report. She had about 68,000 in student loans removed from her credit report altogether in total. It was about 15 accounts that she had removed from her credit report and her credit scores jumped up uh, tremendously. She had absolutely no score on Equifax. She was in the 400s on Experian and TransUnion and she actually saw uh, extreme growth on almost about a 200 point average between Experian and TransUnion. And her goal was to try to get a house and she was actually able to obtain that. And you can see also some of the accounts that she had, they got removed from her credit report as well. But you can learn more in detail about Mrs. Brown and her situation and how we got her to the results that we got her to in trying to get a house. And that's gonna be in this video that you're gonna see that's titled The Real Reason Why You Don't Have a House. Make sure you go find it on the channel. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make sure that I send you guys to that video at the end of this video. So make sure you stay around to the end. And I also want to let you guys know that for you guys that's watching this video, you're gonna have access to a 24 hour sale. Now make sure you follow all of the steps in regards to that sale. You'll see a link to that down in the description. So if you guys are interested in that and you need the help and you want some help, make sure you check that out. And if you're skeptical about it, you know, this isn't for everybody, I understand. I also don't work with everybody. I only work with those that I Feel like that I can really help and those that are really motivated and trying to actually get some results because those are the people that are going to see the best results those that are actually serious about doing everything that they can possibly do to get to the result that they want to get and then are willing to follow the steps and do the little bit of work that they have to do on their part to get to the end of the process all right now I wanted to dive into everything by first letting you know that these things could mess you up even with the right credit repair company so there are certain things that could have happened before you go to the right 
like credit repair company that can mess you up and i'm letting you know this now so that you don't think that okay it's a credit repair company who has caused this problem or that isn't doing what they need to do a lot of times what i've seen is some things that you have done prior to going to the company can hinder the results that you see at that company even if they're doing everything that they can do and everything that they know to work with other people now one of the things is if you went to a company prior to them that you allowed to do something called a credit sweep or say this stuff on your credit report is fraudulent when you announce things as fraudulent on your credit report and then they actually get removed and then they come back or maybe they never get removed but you still said they were fraudulent it puts certain things on your credit report that make it a lot harder for those same items to get removed from your credit report so that is something that can actually cause a problem now some of these issues come with certain companies that you hire at certain price points we'll be talking about the price points a little bit later but that is something that can cause a problem now also if you went to certain companies and these companies kept continuously saying the same thing over like this account doesn't belong to you you pay this account on time they don't really have a real strategy in place and they're just kind of doing the same thing over and over and over and over that can also cause an account to be marked frivolous on your credit report which can cause it to also be extremely hard maybe even sometimes impossible to get removed off your credit report because you have actually had that frivolous mark marked because of disputes that were sent out they were constantly the exact same thing over and over and also as a third point if you have been doing that yourself while trying to work on your credit then you are also going to cause that same problem when you go to the credit repair company that's actually a good company and hinder your results now also if you are impatient when you go to this new company that can also cause a problem because if you are thinking that they're going to go and wave a magic wand and get all the stuff off your credit report immediately or instantly you are deceiving yourself and you're also putting unrealistic expectations on this company even though they're a good company because that's simply not how it works credit repair is a process it can take time and when you have that unrealistic expectation in your mind you're going to be telling yourself well okay this should take only 30 days 60 days and maybe you've heard that from other places that are also trying to draw people in to take their money and now that you have that mindset you're putting that on a good company and you end up not seeing the results you want to see and you end up pulling out of the company too early and then when that happens you end up not getting to see the results that you could have seen because you had an unrealistic expectation and because you thought that they weren't doing what they needed to do because it didn't happen in the time frame that you expected now you aren't going to see any results and you're going to probably end up hopping from company to company if not giving up altogether god forbid you end up doing bankruptcy or something like that which will make the whole thing even worse or even a debt settlement company or something like that can all make the process worse for you or your credit worse and for a longer period of time now i know you've heard me say quite a few times that the goal is to try to get accounts removed from your credit if you're unaware already removing accounts from your credit is the best thing that you can do for your credit your credit score that is because if you pay off certain accounts on your credit report that will actually cause your credit score to drop the reason why is these companies they don't have to remove anything off your credit just because you paid it and just saying that something isn't yours isn't enough reason for it to be removed off your credit either that's why those laws and compliance issues can come into place and try to get items removed but ultimately if you pay an account it'll still be on your credit the balance will just go to zero and it will change certain dates those certain dates that change can actually cause your score to drop because the account is still there if the account is no longer there on your credit report then it is not calculated into your credit score anymore which then causes an increase in the score so that is why removing is more important than paying off most things I'm not gonna say all but most things in most situations are better removed versus paid for the sake of improving your credit score okay now you also need to make sure that you have a mindset shift when you are going into any type of credit repair process with any type of business now most people are thinking hey I want the cheapest company possible all these companies do exactly the same thing let me get the cheapest company possible and that should give me what i need and they should get it to me in 30 60 days all of that is a completely wrong mindset to have about this process and if you uh, don't believe me with the experience that i have and you want to go off of what you still believe it to be or what it should be in your mind then you're welcome to do that but you're going to be sadly disappointed when you go from company to company to company 
to not see any results or to barely see any results and to still need another company after that. While doing this, you will be losing out on time and money because you did not change your mindset in the first place. And then ultimately, you'll see what I'm talking about and then you get what I'm saying. But anyway, that's one thing you need to change. Again, this is a process, it takes time. Make sure that you are thinking about it in that light that, hey, this is gonna take time. Uh, you know, in some instances, it can take anywhere from six to eight months. Sometimes it might take a little bit longer. Sometimes it can be quicker, but never have the quicker in your mind because we never know how things are gonna go. Every person has different items on their credit report. So it's no way to have a set number out there of it takes everybody this amount of time. You can only do averages at best because everybody has different things on their credit and even if two people have the same thing on their credit and it's the same item the same account that item can come off in two different time frames with two different people let alone hundreds or thousands of people so just keep that in mind while you're going through the process also you have to keep in mind again with the pricing a, a company that is charging you the lowest price possible what I usually hear from customers is that those companies are the ones that charge them lower price they might see something one time and then not see nothing again or they never see any type of things coming in the mail or any type of results at all and then the company usually disappears on them and they don't know what happened usually in that instance the company is charging you too little bit of money why is that because any company that's doing work on your credit every month and if they're not doing it every month that means you're not going to end up seeing the results that you need to see but if they're working on it every month and they only collect the money one time as a business that is not a sustainable business model and then that business will ultimately fail more than likely this person is doing this as a side hustle too and they have a, another job they're probably not really going to be too concerned about it anyway and then they're going to just put you to the side or ignore you completely so that's why you don't want to get into that situation trying to get the lowest uh, price person possible you know think about it your credit is very important anyway and if you were trying to get the best heart surgeon you wouldn't try to find the cheapest heart surgeon you would want the best heart surgeon not the the price wouldn't be a factor because your heart is so important to you now with credit it affects your jobs how much money you can make it affects how much things cost you that you need like a, a place to live as far as deposits utilities uh, your rent your mortgage amount your car payment your down payment on a car if you need a co-signer it affects all of these different things how much you pay for insurance and you have to have insurance on a car and most people have to have a car depending on where you live of course but basically it determines how much money is coming out of your pocket or even coming into your pocket so that means it's very important in trying to find the lowest price one or the cheapest one is not really the best way to look at it so you need to shift your mindset to getting value how much do I feel like I'm gonna get in return for the amount of money that I'm gonna be spending and whether you go to me or anybody else Make sure that you're thinking about value. If you don't trust a person, don't sign up with them. If you uh, sign up for a consultation with me and you don't trust me, don't sign up with me. I'm, I'm gonna tell you don't sign up if I feel like you don't trust me because it requires a lot of trust. And if you don't feel like you have that trust, then just don't sign up with the person. Only sign up with the person that you feel like you can possibly get the return on your investment with. Other than that, let them know that you're gonna do something else just to keep it simple and move on and get the process done wherever you feel comfortable. Okay, so what should you be listening for while you're trying to figure out, you know, if this is a good company or not? So when you're talking to them on the phone, you should be thinking about, okay, did they actually, you know, talk to me about my credit report and how they could actually help me with my credit? Did they just tell me, hey, sign up. Okay, look, we'll help you. Just go ahead and sign up here at this link, pay this money, and we'll go ahead and get started. And that's a clear sign that they might not have looked at your credit at all. They may not be able to help you at all or they may not even understand credit enough to talk to you about what's going on with your credit so that would be a red flag for me they should also be telling you things like okay this can take some time you know it's a process if they're telling you things like we can get you done in 30 60 days you know just telling you how quick you know uh, popcorn microwave situation this could be then more than likely they're telling you what you want to hear because they know that's going to get you to give them the money by telling you what you want to hear versus what you need to hear and understand so if you hear that that would also be a red flag if they're just telling you how quick the turnaround can be and not focusing on how it can be a process how it takes work and also telling you the things you need to do in connection with how the process is going to go how you can see results and track things are happening that are supposed to be happening and all of that 
Now also be aware that different companies have different processes. A lot of people think that all credit repair companies have the exact same process, which is untrue. There are some of the big companies out there, which are the biggest ones, and they basically treat everybody like a number. So if you sign up with them, they're gonna drag the process out as long as possible because usually you're paying monthly, and then they're gonna do everything as slow as possible. Now these companies, they get like 10,000 people you know, or more a month, maybe even a day. So everybody is literally a number, and the more people they have coming in, that's all that matters to them. They really don't care if you get the results you wanna see in that. They just want to get their numbers up to get their dollars up and that's all they care about And that's what's gonna happen at the bigger companies with them You may or may not see results But most people say that they are with them for a longer period of time and they barely see any results Now another thing you might see is that some companies they're going to have you actually do work like work work Where most of the best companies are not gonna have you do work work and when I say work work what I'm talking about is they'll create letters they'll send them to you and then you have to go mail them out at the post office every month as well while they're doing the work for you and you're still paying them on a monthly basis usually so when it comes to that process basically you're having to do a lot of work that is pretty much unnecessary and uh, you shouldn't have to do so if you're gonna be paying for anything um, I mean I don't think that it's uh, feasible that you would need to do that and I know plenty of other companies that do that for the customer so that's a necessary part of the process with some companies that you can avoid now most of the best companies they're going to you know guide you on what you need to do to build credit because that is something that you have to do if they're talking about you purchasing trade lines not secure credit uh, you know not alternative credit if they're telling you to purchase trade lines I would stay away from that as long as you don't have to you know do any work like that and you only have to do the stuff that really would be required of you like applying for an account to actually build credit with in your own name and sometimes piggybacking off of a family member or friend is okay as well but if they're not making you send out letters and stuff like that then that's gonna be more of an indicator of a good process and of course make sure you're checking out the reviews on different companies too that's where you're gonna see what other people had to say about the company and of course that's what you do for everything else so of course do that with your credit repair process so what should you be paying for credit repair there are gonna be different things that you're gonna see and hear across the board but I can tell you first off the ones to stay away from are going to be anyone that's telling you pay 200 to 300 dollars one time and that's it why wow, that's the most ideal thing that you want to hear those are the companies that are probably gonna end up disappearing on you before you even get halfway through the process also there are companies that are gonna tell you hey can you pay two thousand three thousand dollars upfront one-time payment those large one-time payments like that are usually people that's going to be saying stuff on your credit report is fraudulent which is where you're going to see stuff either not getting taken care of or it's going to end up coming back on your credit you might also see that they tell you to get a police report and then that puts you in the mix of doing something that's fraudulent that you shouldn't be doing and a lot of times after paying all that money those companies can disappear on you as well so those are the two models that you want to stay away from you know that's the easiest thing i can tell you about that now the best thing that you can do as far as the pricing goes there are two main pricing models that you're usually going to see one of them is going to be a pay per deletion type model and you might see different pricing on that it will usually be an initial amount that you pay maybe 200 maybe 300 dollars and then after that you'll pay for every deletion that happens throughout your credit report maybe fifty dollars per deletion 75 for per deletion a hundred dollars per deletion it just depends on the company but that's one model that you might see and you also might see a monthly pricing model it could be anywhere from you know 150 dollars initially to three hundred dollars initially and then you might see anywhere from maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars monthly going forward in the processes and a lot of times they also ask you to keep credit monitoring while going through the process because that's how credit repair companies get your credit reports so of course you will maintain the credit monitoring while you're going through the process so that they can get a new report and see the actual changes are happening with your score in the credit report and that's usually what you're going to see at the most common ethical legal operating credit repair companies now don't forget if you needed some help with your credit that i do have a 24 hour sale going on for you down in the description but also if you want to try to do some work on your credit yourself maybe you want to give it another shot i'm going to send you to this other video as well as the video that i told you about that's going to talk to you about the real reason why you can't get a house and what to do with your credit in that respect so check out one of these two videos and if you really got value from this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll be notified anytime i let out a new video just like this.